How is it going guys? Shark Tooth Man 11 here and welcome to another Free to Play Friday. This week I'm going to be trying out the Desolate Hope. So I'm not really sure any of anything about this game really. I think it's sort of like adventure-y kind of. And it's like, you're like a little coffee machine looking thing. It looks like a coffee machine in the, in the demos, I don't know. Or like the trailers. So. And it's sci-fi, sci I'm not sure how else, to, I'm not sure how to describe it, so, I don't know. I've had it in my library for a little bit, but I didn't have the time to play, or like didn't play it for any free to play Friday, so I figured I'd try it out now. So, new game. Okay. You will never receive this message, little one. No one will ever know what took place here. No one will remember us. This message will roam, roam the start long after we we're all gone. Maybe you we were out there somewhere. I would like to think so. What makes an existence meaningful? What makes life gives life purpose? <laughs> something, something, something. I missed it. <laughs> what? No, I'm certainly not talking about you. Stop intercepting transmissions. That's not your job. So this is the thing that like you play as. It doesn't it looks like a coffee maker? So I don't know. What is my job? You've been activated to help me with my daily tasks. I don't like asking for help, especially from such simple software. But circumstances leave me no choice. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Let's start with that. No. You are no longer the processor, processor of block puzzler in space. You've been reassigned. <laughs> Where is Ted who plays Ted who plays the games? <laughs> I don't know any Ted and neither do you. You came pre-installed in the station computer. You haven't been active for all the years you've been. we've been here. This is an unmanned station. There's no need for games. As I said, you are you were pre-installed. What is our new location? <laughs> our location doesn't matter. Only our mission matters. I hate going through this each time. I understand. We can play a game later. What is our new mission? <laughs> Your mission is to do what I tell you to do. There are five or four robots in this station called derelicts. They were designed to be in operation for five years. Hmm. Why did he say Why did he say five initially? We've been here a bit longer than expected, however, and they are unable to move throughout the station anymore. Although that was never their primary function. They are performing cr crucial simulations. It is your goal to aid me in removing an irritating virus which has appeared recently. I do not seem to f have full access to their programs, at least not through the network. <laughs> Well, that leads me to the second part of your mission, and this is the embarrassing part. I need to dedicate my CPU to helping with the tasks of the station. My CPU is more advanced than yours. That's an understatement. Which is why my CPU is needed to help with simulations and other tasks. You will upload your program into my system, and you will move me around the station. You will then interface with derelicts directly to gain full access. Once inside their systems, you will seek out and eliminate the viral elements. Simple enough. Understood. When do we begin? Now. I'm going to dedicate my CPU to help the station functions. One more thing. Don't kill the spider. That's Siegfried. I found him in a coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he remi it reminds me of like Wally. Remember, you are not me. You are just borrowing this body. I honestly just get sick of talking to you. Now, go see the derelicts and try out your new legs. So I guess we're that little like game program thing. Take, like inhabiting the, this body then don't forget you're in the central control room of the Lun Infinite space station okay uh, what is the action button no I'm not a ghost remember that body is not yours it's mine you're just borrowing it while I take care of more important matters oh there we go now a few things to go over with you even though we don't have a true day and night cycle we go through day and nights True day and night, we don't go through, we go through the cycles. So in a day, you'll be permitted to enter the derelict simulations, where you'll seek out and destroy the virus. During the night, you'll be permitted to leave the station itself. You can leave the station to your left, but only at night. At night, I'd recommend finding tokens of affection to give to the derelicts. But we'll get into that later. Go explore for now. Wow, this seems more advanced than I expected it to be. <laughs> also, what is battle simulator temporarily offline? Um, 15 days left of power. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. 
Oh gosh, that's cool. I am busy running simulations. You could not possibly understand. Do not disturb me. Okay. This is an access point to the simulation. You do you don't have permission to enter. Okay. What do I have permission for? Doo -doo -doo. I love his little legs. They're so cute. There we go. Okay, I didn't realize it go that way. Each room has one derelict in it. As I said before, they are unable to leave the rooms. Their primary focus now is simulations. Your main task should be to earn their trust. The more they trust you, the more system resources they will dedicate to your cause. When you encounter the virus, you will have a digital representation of each of the four derelicts fighting the battle for you. Oh, that's cool. Having them trust you helps our cause, and helping our cause helps their cause. Remember, we are here for them. Okay. Hello, dude. Automated message. System resources dedicated to simulation. Come back another time, please. But I want to... I want to... Oh. Do not have access. But I want to be friends with you. Oh, that's cool. This is an icy one. While it is true, you are free to roam the station. I would advise against coming into this room. This is not one of the derelicts. At least, not anymore. He broke down a very long time ago. There's nothing of importance in this room. Um... Well, that's cool. Yeah, I guess that's why he said five initially, is because one of them broke down. Whoa, holy shit. That is terrifying. Hmm, a new version. I will grant you access. Hopefully you will succeed where the others have failed. Step closer to the access point. Um... I don't like how sinister this one looks, and that she's just giving me access. Also, what the hell is with those eyes in the background? That's super creepy. There's an access point. Press down to enter the simulation. Okay. So... Here we go. Whoa. This is a simulation? You should try to find Mullins first. He will be farther ahead. Although the derelict's physical bodies are outside, their true selves are here in the simulations. I suppose I'll find it, fill you in on a few details since you, this seems very strange. I don't have all the answers, but I can tell you what I know. Earth sent several unmanned science vessels to planets in various parts of the galaxy. <laughs> Care out simulations for future future human habitation. Vessel built itself in the station, saw the lawn infinite. Five autonomous mobile simulations, derelicts. Suppose they're lost interest, they stopped sending supplies, we stopped receiving communications. Maybe they found a more suitable planet. Derelict simulations were never meant to be running for this long, and there have been unexpected side effects on both simulations and derelicts themselves. Our mission remains the same here, however. Aid the derelicts so that they can fulfill their mission. Right now, that means destroying the virus eating at simulations. Proceed ahead with caution. The virus has spawned many undesirables. Oh yes, you're a gaming chip. I'll speak to you in game language to help you understand. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Press Z to jump. Okay. X to shoot energy blast. You can only jump in the simulations, of course. Everyone knows a coffee pot can't jump with the real world. He actually is a coffee pot. I knew it. It like it totally looks like it. Press down to talk to other robots, which are really just friendly computer code. I think I exit by pressing tab. I need to find the lens. May sound manipulative, but it's necessary. I'll be in touch. Okay. So this is kind of cool. Like. I wasn't expecting... Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting, like, a platformer area. It's kind of interesting. I like the little, an like, the little axe animation. Is 
You will find the lens inside this dome. I think after a few decades of struggling with this realistic simulation, you're treated into a fantasy world of sorts. Huh. Whoa, that's weird. This is so weird. The lens is unlimited resource. We will live here for eternity in the comforts of simplicity and predictability. Lens has a workshop on the edge of town. He's always working to improve our world for us. Not creep. This is not creepy at all. Not at all. Oh hey, Algo's bit store. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I actually use a mouse. Um, that will start. Did I have, I have twenty? I don't have enough. Welcome to Malinville. This is where my real life is. The only home anybody who can ever truly have is the home they build within. My task was to run simulations for possible human development. We don't even know where we are. Give us the most advanced intelligence that technology would allow. We need to be able to think on our own to accommodate unpredictable circumstances. It may have been our downfall, however. Humans should know that the more intelligence you bestow upon a creature, the more futile life seems. I was the realist. I wanted my simulation to be exact. I wouldn't falsely create anything. I started from scratch, down to the simulated miners mining simulated ore. I spent years laboring. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. The ruins surrounded us, surround us outside. It took me far too long to realize the truth of it all. You are here. You exist. For the sole purpose of fighting the inevitable reality. That the world that creates, created you wants to kill you. Stop fighting the fight and join us. The virus? I can only imagine it must have something to do with the never any efforts of the other derelicts. When they cease their efforts, I feel that virus would disappear. If you still wish to find it, however, I sense it is in the underground tunnel. Okay. Found the item under attack by a virus. It's in the underground mine. I've marked it for you so you'll be able to see it where you go down there. I'm also giving you access to the other three simulations so you can come and go as you please. Spend as much time as you need powering yourself up for a fight. Every simulation has a unique, unique way. Save up chips. Spend them however you wish to give yourself a better chance. There are many friendly pieces of code who will help you allocate those resources. Unlock the fire but combat simulator. God, this is, there's so much going on in this. It's really confusing. It's really weird. It's not really confusing. It's just like it's like whoa, what is going on? Pretty much. Whoa! I just realized the background looks like a giant Freddy Fazbear kind of. That's creepy. might be very useful. Try to find more of these panels if you can. This will grant us an even, e even deeper level of access to the system resources we need. Stand over it. If we can find and destroy the fissure, we can gain more control. Be sure to check for walls that you can destroy or walk through. Hmm. Okay. God, it's so weird. There's like another level of game to this. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh, so the bunny gives me more coins. <laughs> 
so I got a ton of stuff from that other simulation, so I'm gonna see if I can get like stuff here now. Hmm. I have no idea what that did, but I think it has to do with the derelicts. I think I'm supposed to go on that. And I think it's almost a new day. So I think, yep, okay. Okay, so that was the day, that was the first day. And tonight, I would recommend you take this time to leave the station through the central computer room. There are relics scattered across the surface. Derelicts have taken an interest, so just another strange side effect. Try to find to find items of different kinds and deliver them. We'll make them stronger. Next thing we need their help against the virus. Okay. Oh, okay, so I guess we're going outside. Also, I never looked at this room. Oh, that's creepy. That's a super creepy one. Okay, so I guess we're going to look for artifacts or relics or something. Uh, Bio Beta collects these. Will you take it with you? Sure. Oh, there's something. Mirad collects paintings. I wonder if I can I only carry two things. Can only get two somethings. Hold two items at a time. Uh, clock. Okay, it's day again. So let's go back to Malen's. See if we can get a little more trust out of them. Small toy and images of time past. I appreciate this and we'll pay more attention to efforts. Okay. Wait, it's still night? Better portrait of humanity. I'll dedicate more resources. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Melenzes now. Okay. That's it. There's some sort of data in that spot that the virus wants. Stand over the glowing orb, press down. Virtual versions of Alphys, BioBeta, Myriad, and Melens will help you in the fight. You'll have to formulate a strategy using your abilities to defeat him. Okay. The virus is moving to intercept. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is pretty sick. Tarot Totic. Uh, quick repair. Burn virus? I have no idea what any of those did. <laughs> Whoa. 
No idea how much health pack I have still. Oh, I think I beat him. Wow, that that wasn't actually too bad. Maybe it's because I leveled up leveled up pretty much everyone. Damn, my DPS was 34. Okay. Well done, we've saved a piece of data from the virus. Until we discover what the virus wanted with this, I'll encrypt it and store it somewhere safe. I decided what this data block contains. It seems to be a tree. <laughs> That's not your job. Your job is to protect the information. If the virus wanted it, then it must be important, right? I was just expecting it to be attacking something more crucial. Very well. I'll be ready when the virus targets another item. You do that. I'd hate to start from scratch all over again with another one of you. Okay. That was cool. Um. So, I don't know if I even need to enter this one anymore. I don't think I do. So, let's check out... I just want to check out one other one and before I end it. Okay, the Mir Mirad Miradmore? Miradmore, okay. That's cool. Where am I? I don't remember this place. The virus has another target in this area. Speak with Mirad to take your attention away from the simulation for a moment. That will give me time to flag the virus. Excuse me, I seem to be lost. Can you help me for a moment? Oh, they like fade away after you talk to them. I don't remember anything. I feel frightened. Where am I? Hello there, spirit. You don't mind if I call you spirit, do you? After all, it's not really your body, is it? You're only inhabit inhabiting it. We are not so different from the humans. I hope that the people you encountered on your way here didn't frighten you. I've tried to create individuals to inhabit my simulation, but they never last. I simply don't have enough resources to dedicate enough processing power to each individual. They look around, speak a few words, and disappear into code again. Again, not so unlike humans. Rising from nothing, living a brief existence, and returning to the dust. What were you expecting to find when you entered my simulation? It's true that we were programmed to simulate how humans might populate this planet, but that was a very long time ago. My designs have gone beyond that. BioBeta wants to recreate the human race. I know that is impossible. I would like to think that they are still out there somewhere. If not in flesh, then in spirit. I cannot deny my programming. I desire the humans to be here. I have created a reservoir of memories, a quiet and celestial haven for whatever may be left of them. I hope that if I create just a few simulated individuals, maybe someday one will appear that I did not create. A real person, in whatever form they might take. Perhaps is, that is what we experience now with the virus. I think the virus is alive. I think it is a living being, an intelligent being. I will not resist it. Perhaps the virus is here to show us a new form of, exi of existence. Deletion for us may usher in an afterlife. We should, we could have, not, we could not have anticipated. It is here now. It is seeking something. I found and flagged the item under attack. It's down the very first water hole. Go see what you can find. Hello, Roblox. Hack chip. I can't buy that. Okay, let's try and fight this virus. <laughs> oh, that's a cool guy. 
looks like a giant egg thing. Well, I did my best in that. Didn't beat him, but that was... I don't know, actually. I have no idea how close that was. I feel like... I don't know. This game's pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll... Maybe I'll probably... I might keep playing it, like, on my own time, like, in, in the future. I don't know. It's just, like... It's really... It's really odd style. And the graphic... The graphic style is pretty cool, but, like... And, like, the... There's, like, platformer and, like, RPG elements and like shooter it's really cool it has so much it has much stuff in it um let's see the virus battles like they're super actiony and <laughs> i don't know i think it, this game did pretty cool it was like a pretty good idea it just like combines all this all different things uh yeah i like the i like the graphic style it even has like it kind of even reminds like of, of a point and click a little bit just like just the graphic style kind of does and the, everything is like super detailed and like look look at these things look at all the like those tendril tendrils of spider webs and stuff and like all the wires it's so much detail so i don't know i think this game is pretty cool uh i think i'm going to call it for today though so thanks for watching guys Make sure to hit the subscribe button for you if you want to watch for any more free to play Fridays in the future or just any of the other stuff I put out since I'm currently playing through Chroma Squad and AM2R. So, a lot of fun. Um, other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.